milk, chocolate, low carb, loose. So here is my avocado. To the touch, to know that it's ready, it should give just a little bit, but not be too squishy. Um, they can be a little bit difficult avocados. They seem to be unripe for ages and then ripen really, really quickly. Um, so that can be annoying. Um, but we just slice our avocado with a sharp knife. Pull the two pieces apart and then you'll notice there's a stone in one half. I just use the knife to take out the stone. That's how you can tell the avocado is perfectly ripe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop my avocado flesh into my food processor container like so. We're going to use all of the avocado. This pudding would be enough um, for one greedy person <laughs> or two to three individual portions. Um, I have been known to eat the whole lot myself, um, but it is incredibly filling. So, we've added the avocado um, flesh to the food processor. And now I'm going to add my unsweetened cocoa powder. This is a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and that goes straight in with the avocado. Now, because I do want it to be slightly sweet, I'm going to use um, these drops. These are sweet drops. They are liquid stevia. Now, you could probably find these in most supermarkets now, health food shops, or even on um, Amazon. Um, I find, for my own taste, Probably about a quarter of a pipette is enough for me, but do change it for your own taste. As you become um, low carb adapted, you will find that quite quickly your um, preference for sweet taste lessens. Um, so you will find that you'll be um, craving less and less sweet stuff. Now the other ingredient is um, coconut um, milk. Um, great tip here is if you put the coconut milk tin into the fridge, you will end up with the coconut cream on the top like so. Um, and you want to use a good probably half to a quarter cup of the coconut cream for your, your mousse. So I've just added that also to the food processor container. Now these are optional extras. Um, I like to add a little pinch of sea salt to my chocolate. I think the sweet and salty um, taste really nice. There's probably about a pinch in there. And also I have some vanilla bean paste. You could use vanilla essence. Just be careful with vanilla essence that it doesn't contain sugar or syrup. Um, so, a small amount of the vanilla paste. And once that's all gone in, we will put the lid on top of the food processor container and we will whiz this together for 